I'm Martin from Managua, Nicaragua, and I volunteer with Ray Isias in the community of La Flora, Achuapa. During my placement, the team worked on a natural resource management project. We focused on raising awareness activities, promoting healthy and sustainable living. Also, we constructed alongside beneficiaries simple infrastructure of technology such as eco ovens and eco latrines, amongst many other activities related to the ICS areas. This photography is really meaningful for me. It depicts the beauty and solidarity of these people who welcomed us as we were already a family. It was taken the very first day. I sense straight away these emotions, and when I saw one of the host moms hugging her new daughter, I had to capture that frame which evokes such pure feelings. In the team, we were four Nicaraguans, one Costa Rican, and six European volunteers. For me, it was a really good experience to work with so many different nationalities and personalities as well. Sometimes, these differences cause clashes in the group, but we managed to overcome this by talking openly and focusing ourselves on the common goals of the project. Taking part of ICS made me realize that all we need to make changes is commit to yourself and put all your effort in your belief. Taking part of ICS made me feel proud of the fact that through working together with the community, we shared a lot with each other, and by the end of the project, they were empowered to manage it themselves in working on environmental issues. I come from the UK and went with Tear Fund ICS to Burundi in July 2013 for three months. While the team and I were at our placement, we were working with the Anglican Diocese Matana and were looked after by Desiree, the project coordinator, and Bosco, our project manager, who undertook all our training. He was often referred to as Dr. Bosco by the communities we were working in, as he was immensely knowledgeable and always had the answer. Bosco was never one to sit at the side while others worked. Even after we had been trained and were delivering our products in local communities, he was always present and always getting involved. This photo in particular, after the many that I have of him, captures Bosco's character perfectly. A smile on his face, hands dirty, helping improve the life of another family in the community. Our first project was kitchen gardens. These were designed to reduce the dependence on water during the dry season and allow families to have fresh vegetables throughout the year. Our second project were fuel efficient stoves, which were designed to reduce deforestation in the area through reducing the volume of firewood that was burnt. Compared to the traditional stove, these fuel efficient stoves were 400% more efficient. Our final project was a health and nutrition project. Here we combined the provision of soya flour to make porridge with basic sanitation, health and hygiene training for parents. Whilst the work was hard and the days long, there were some thoroughly enjoyable times. What makes me most proud of taking part in ICS is that you can make a difference. One person by themselves cannot change the world, and each ICS volunteer is only doing what they can within their own limited capacity to change a small area of the world. But as a whole, with all of us working together, we can provide real change. Improving the life of just one person is enough to make me proud.